Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to add background image in WordPress using Elementor. So let's just begin. First of all, we need to log in inside our WordPress dashboard and now we're gonna learn how can we add the background image in WordPress using Elementor. Okay, so for that you have to install the Elementor plugin. So how can you install the Elementor plugin? You'll simply go into the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And from here you'll simply search for the Elementor. And you can download the plugin from here all right so now i'll simply create a new page and in there we will simply learn to add the background image okay so let's click on the add new and i want to add the page with the elementor so i'll simply click on add it with elementor okay so as you can see here we are inside the editor of the elementor okay so how can we add the background image so first of all we have to add a new section so click on the add here and we will add a section with a single column okay so first of all i would like to add the heading here so let's just write down contact us heading here so let me just put this into the center so in the similar way i would like to add the paragraph here so i'll simply click on the text editor and you can see this we have this simple text and let's just put this into the center so align it into the center Okay, so how can we add the background image to our section? I will simply click on the edit section here and I will go into the style from here and in this style as you can see the background here and in the background we have the background type. So the first one is the classic. So if I want to add the image, I will simply click here and from here I can choose the image. So click on the choose image. So in here I can actually select the image from the media library free images or I can also upload the image from my computer. So I'll simply go with the free images here. So as you can see here, we have this beautiful looking images. So I'll simply go with uh, this image here and save and insert. Okay, so as you can see here, we have added the background image. So I have to change the color of our text. Okay, so that would be the white color. Same goes for the paragraph color. That would be the white again. So click on the edit section again and from here we can see the settings of the image so we have the position so if you want to change the position of the image you can simply do it from here you have the attachment we have the repeat okay so let's just click on no repeat here and we have the display size so in the display size we have the cover we have the contain and the custom so i'll simply click on the cover here which will actually cover the whole space of our section okay so we also have this background overlay so if you want to add the color in the background overlay, you can simply do it from here. Okay. So let's just say I want to go with a black color or any other color from here. So I can do it from here and I can change the opacity of the color from here. Okay. So let's uh, keep it dark here. That is looking okay. So this is how you can add the background overlay. All right. So now I will simply go inside the layout. And in the layout, as you can see here, we have the content width. So we'll simply change the value of the content width to the full width. And we also have the stretch section. So we will also like to stretch the section here. All right. So now let's go inside the advanced setting. So as you can see that we can't really see what is in the image here since we are only covering a small section of our image. So we can add the padding and the margin to our background here. So let's just add the padding first okay so as you can see that we can see this large portion of the image from here so in a similar way you can add the margin if you want to but right now i just keep the value to the uh, default value so in this way you can add the padding and if you want to add the parallax effect to your background image so how can we do that we we'll simply go inside the style and from here you can see the attachment and in the attachment i will just simply click on the fix here and you will be able to see the parallax effect on our background image okay so let's just add the couple of section here just to show you the parallax effect of our background image okay so i think that would be the heading uh, click here and this is the heading and in a similar way i would add a new section heading again so let's copy and paste this okay so now let's just publish this and have a look at our page and now you will be able to see the parallax effect on our background image so this is how you can add the parallax effect on your background image and this is it for this video so in this video we learned about how can we add the background image in wordpress using elementor 
and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel